This is the continuation of Solaris Operating System discussion. So for Chapter 5, I'm going to discuss Solaris System Process Management. Overview. The process is one of the fundamental abstraction of Unix. In Unix, every object is represented as either a file or a process. With the introduction of the proc structure, there has been an effort to, re to represent even processes as files. A process is an instant of running program or a program in execution. It can be any task that has an address space, executes its own piece of code, and, and has a unique process ID. A process can create another process called child process. Running multiple processes has an impact on system performance because the process consume system resources such as memory and processor time. And some processes may even cause the system to hang. Managing processes becomes important in a multi-user environment such as Solaris. Managing processes involves monitoring the process, finding the resource usage, finding the parent processes that have created child processes, assigning priority for processes, scheduling processes, and terminating the processes. From a system administrator perspective, there are three broad categories of tasks associated with the management of the system processes. The first one is monitoring the processes. This includes viewing the PID, UID, and PPID, viewing the priori priority of the process, viewing the resource usage in terms of memory and processor utilization, viewing the state of the process. This also involves controlling the processes, using the signals, assigning the priority to the process, and scheduling the process. State of a process. A process undergoes many changes during its lifetime. For example, if a parent process waits for the child process to complete execution, the parent process put, puts itself in a sleep state. Such change from one state to another state is known as context switching. During its lifetime, a process can exist in any of these four states, ready or runnable, running, sleep, and zombie. A runnable process is ready to execute whenever CPU time is available. It has acquired all the resources it needs and is just waiting for the CPU to become available. If the process is in the run state, it means, it means that the process is running on the CPU. In the sleep state, the process waits for a child process to complete or waits for a resource to become available. The zombie is the phase in which the child process terminates, but its entry is not removed from the process table until the, process, until the parent process acknowledges the death of the child process by executing wait or wait PID system call. In this case, the child process is said to be in a zombie state. So, zombie processes are also called as defunct processes. Process context. Solaris is a multitasking, multiprocessing operating system in which a number of programs run at the same time. A program can be made up of many processes. A process is a part of a program running in its own address space. This means that many users can be active on the system at the same time, running many processes simultaneously. But only one process is active per processor at any given time, while the other processes wait in a job queue. Because each process, each process takes its turn running in very short time slices, multitasking operating system gives give the illusion that multi -pro multiple processes are running at the same time. Each time a process is removed from the from the access to the processor, sufficient information on its current operating state must be stored, such that when it is again scheduled to run on the processor, it can resume its operation from identical operate position. This operational state data is known as its context. 
and the act of removing the process threads of execution from the processor is known as the process switch or context switch. The context of a phase of the context of a process includes the following operational state data. First is register set image. This includes program counter, stack pointer, processor status word, memory management registers, and floating floating point unit registers. Another context is user address space. Control information, credential, and environment variables. All of the information needed to keep track of a process when switching is kept in a data package called process control block.